How's it going everyone? Today we're going to take a look at the EasyCam webcam by TH3D Studios and we're going to find out is it really that easy? My name's Alex and you're watching Modified 3D. Now this webcam from TH3D Studios is one of the higher priced webcams on the market. Price is right around $60 to $80 depending on what sale is going on at the time. I believe they do have a sale going on right now. So make sure to check the link in the description for the latest and greatest price. But their claim to fame is that it's just a simple plug and play webcam for your Raspberry Pi running Octoprint. You don't have to worry about connections with the ribbon cable being kind of junky and finicky. You don't have to worry about any programming or config file changes. It's simply just plug it in, find a mounting location, and adjust the focus. Now this 1080p webcam does come with manual focus, which is a great addition. So you can make sure that you have the perfect crisp and clear picture so that you can remotely view your prints uh, via Octoprint or something like the Printoid Octoprint phone app. Now mounting it is very easy. I chose to place it up in this top corner because it offers a great field of view of the print bed as well as the nozzle. The bottom of this mount has a threaded insert for any regular tripod base, or you can do what I did and just take some double-sided tape and stick it in place. There's also a variety of free 3D printed mount options available from TH3D's uh, website or Thingiverse.com. I'll have links to those down below and they just utilize this top joint up here. Now there is a couple different joints on this from the factory if you're just using the regular mount that comes with it. You see we have a left to right up here. We have a up and down as well as a lower up and down. So we got three different ways that we can adjust this to kind of get the perfect picture. As far as the wiring goes, I just took the wire, routed it down this extrusion channel so that it's out of the way and it looks nice and pretty, tucked it down in, and then I just plugged it into the USB port on my Raspberry Pi 3B+. This will work with the Pi 3, 3B+, or the Pi 4. Now, like I said before, it is 1080p, TH3D does offer a 720 version, but I opted to go for the higher definition because who doesn't like HD video? As far as the installation goes, all we have to do at this point is make sure our Raspberry Pi is turned off, plug it in, and then we can go ahead and boot our Pi, turn it on, and we'll go over to the computer where we can view our picture and make any adjustments to either the focus or the actual angle itself. So let's go ahead and do that now. And I guess this will be where we find out if it truly is easy. With my Pi Cam, I had a couple issues where I had to mess with the config files and it can be a headache. I know a lot of users have issues getting their Pi Cam to work if it isn't the perfect right model from Amazon uh, or if you don't have the right drivers downloaded. There can just be a lot of issues that comes with the Pi Cam. So let's see if it really is that easy. Go ahead and turn on our printer, make sure our uh, Raspberry Pi is turned on, and let's head on over to the computer. So what we'll do is go ahead and load our Octoprint instance and head over to the control tab, which is what houses our webcam screen. And we can see that our picture automatically loaded. We didn't have to change any config settings. Just going to go ahead and adjust it here a little bit left, right, up and down to get the best picture. And we can also spin the silver housing on the camera to adjust our focus. When we find something that looks good, we'll call it a day. And uh, yeah, so as you can see, no settings changes needed to be done. Uh, just double checking our field of view here. But everything looks good and it does in fact work. Here's just a little clip of it uh, printing out a little keychain. Can't tell you how nice it is to have this remote viewing capabilities. Let's go ahead and bring it out and finish up this review. So as you can see, the easy cam really is just that easy. Find a suitable mounting location, whether it be double-sided tape, a 3D printed mount, or even that included tripod insert that's on the bottom of the mount. Run your wiring into a nice little clean fashion, however you need it to be. Make sure your Pi is turned off, 
plug in the USB uh, connector to your Pi, turn it on and make any adjustments that need to be done. With it being on the little higher end, I do still believe this is worth the value. Not having to worry about any issues getting it set up is a huge selling point and I cannot explain how easy this thing is to set up. If I ever need to buy another webcam, this is definitely going to be the one to go with. I don't think I'd mess around with the $20 Pi cams anymore. Just for you know a little bit more, you can have that ease of use and that manual focus is super nice to have. I can't tell you how many times I had a blurry picture on my Pi cam over here on this Ender 3 because the autofocus was just lagging or inoperable itself. I don't have to worry about that with the Pi cam. And I also get TH3D's excellent customer service and warranty that comes along with all of their products. If you ever have any questions, you can email them and they'll get back to you right away. They also have a Facebook group that I post in regularly that is great for product support and help. Uh, there's tons of amazing people in that Facebook group. Uh, I'll have a link down below in the description where you can join it. So with that being said, that's all for today's review of this easy cam. Uh, key selling points, 1080p high definition, wide angle, we got manual focus, and plug and play operation. Drawbacks, it's a little bit on the pricey side, but other than that, I have not found one. Um, if you're not a fan of the mount that comes with it, there's tons of options online that you can pick to print out, or uh, you can always just do something like a double-sided tape, like I did here. So with that being said, make sure to give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments and I'll get to them as quick as I can. And as always, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all the latest and greatest content from Modified 3D, like the review of the 3D Fuse Creatos printer that we have sitting back there that should be coming in the next week or two once I get a few more hours behind it. That way I can get the best, most accurate review for you possible. My name's Alex, and this is Modified 3D. Thank you for watching. Have a good one, guys. Till next time.